Hello everyone, welcome to another educational video from the LearnPersian.us team. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and stay with us. So, in this scene, we're gonna watch a man who is getting divorced and lives with his daughter and father. His father has Alzheimer's disease and he has decided to hire a nurse to look after him while he's at work. The nurse is pregnant and has accepted the job because she needs money. She has finished her first day of working as his nurse and is now talking to the man as returns to home. So let's start with the words and phrases. تو برای روزا میکنی یا اون برای تو بابا علی زنگ رو پا علی که؟ علی آره علی زنگ رو ترمه بابا بود و یا کم سریع تر خانم ایسی شیر و اکسیژنشو نبسته بود اینا سفت صبح بستم حتما خودشون با کرد یه کم سفت تر ببندین از فردا لطفا که نتونه باز کنم ببخشید من دیگه فردا رو فکر نکنم بتونم بیام گفتین که مگه نگفتین من گفتم امروز میام ولی درام خیلی دوره نمیتونم خانم من دیروز رو حساب حرف شما یکی دیگه رد کردم رفت من چاره بعد از ظهر من فردا چجوری یکی دیگه به خدا سنگینه برام به خدا سنگینه نمیتونم واقعا نمیکشم سنگین کارتون زیاد خیلی آخه لطفا تشریف بیارین اینجا شما یه مغنعت کو بیا اینجاست حالا شاید روز اولت خسته شدی نه شما که اینجا بودین دیگه چند قرار دیدین که سامای بیا کیف تو بردار ببخشید اگه میشون شما را رم سانوگرافی هم داره امروز خیلی نارومی میکرد همون پسره صبح تو سیتمه مامانم انقدر لگت میزد خب میخواد زودتر به دنیا بیاد بام بازی کنم بخش اگه میشه اینجا برای من بنویسی باش بگو از طرف قهرایی اومدی منشیش منو میشناسه زنه یا مرد چه؟ زنه یا مرد خانومه البته قبلش یه زنگی بزن خانوم این نمیتونم و شما دیروز به من میگفتین من فردا این پیر مرد چجوری تنها بل کنم تو این خونه برم ترمه؟ بله مامانت این چای خوشکار کجا میذاره؟ نمیدونم شما بعد به من میگفتین که من بعد نظافت رو میکردم نظافت صبح خودشون خراب کردم درست نیست من تمیزشون کنم تو برای روزا میکنی یا اون برای تو بابا علی زنگ رو پا علی که؟ علی آره علی زنگ رو ترمه بابا بودو یا کم سریع تر نمبر وان بودو This word is an imperative verb and literally means run but here it means hurry up People usually use it in conversations to tell someone to act quickly or do what they've requested from them faster خانم این شیر و اکسیژنشو نبسته بود اینا سفت صبح بستم حتما خودشون با کرد یک هم سفت تر ببندین از فردا لطفا که نتونه باز کنم and now here we go with number two فردا the word فردا means tomorrow it's interesting to know that to say the day after tomorrow in Persian you should add the prefix pass to this word This prefix is the short form of pass as, which translates to 
after. So the word pas farda means the day after tomorrow. Perakshit man, diye farda ro fikna konam betunam biya. گفتین که مگه نگفتین من گفتم امروز میام ولی درام خیلی دوره نمیتونم خانم من دیروز رو حساب حرف شما یکی دیگه رد کردم رفت نمبر 3 رو حساب لیترال مینینگ ایز آن یور اکاونت از یو سی این دی سین دی مان ایز تلینگ دی وومن دیس سنتنس من روی حساب حرف شما ایت مینز دات According to what you had said, I've made a decision or done something. So the phrase translates to based on you, in accordance to your words, promises or acts, or depending on your action. The next one is rad kardam. This word is a verb and it means I denied or I rejected. So the main form of this verb would be rad kardan, which means to deny, reject, or decline. The next one is chahare ba'dazor. It means 4 p.m. In Persian, we use the words pish as zor and ba'd as zor. For AM and PM, respectively. Also, you may use قبل as زور for AM. The word زور means noon. And as you might have guessed, these two words mean before noon and afternoon. Sometimes you might also hear the word as instead of بعد زور with the same meaning. So, Chahare Asr and Chahare Ba'dazor are the same. Sangina Bara. Bechodo Sangina. Nemituna Bara Nemikisha. The next word is Sangin. Literal meaning is heavy. Here, the woman is telling the man that her tasks and duties for taking care of the old man are very difficult and she finds them labored. Nemi kesham. Literal meaning, I don't pull, I don't smoke. But the exact meaning is, I can bear or I can tolerate. This was her first day taking care of the old man and she has found her tasks more difficult than she had thought. So she says, Nemi kesham, meaning that I can't do it anymore. And want to quit. Tashrif biyarit. This word is a very polite way of saying, "Please come here." As you see in the scene, the man is asking the woman to follow him to the kitchen and discuss why she has decided not to come to their home tomorrow. It means scarf, something that women and girls wear to cover the hair on their heads for the hijab. In the next few seconds, you see that the little girl puts her white magnae on and gets prepared to leave the place. شما که اینجا بودین دیگه چند قرار دیدین که سامای بیا کیف تو بردار ببخشید اگه میشون شما را رم سانوگرافی هم داره امروز خیلی نارومی میکرد نارومی This word means the state of being نارومی The word نارومی is the conversational version of the word Na aram. It translates to nervous or hyperactive. The woman is pregnant and she's talking about the extra movements of her child inside her body that she had felt during the day. 
همون پسره لگد It means kick The little girl in the previous scenes has put her head on her mother's stomach and felt the baby's movements. So she is telling the other woman that the baby kicked the lot in the morning. <laughs> Literal meaning come to the world. It means to be born. Here, the woman is replying the little girl and telling her that the kicks you've seen are because of the baby's hurry to be born and join your family. That's a super nice thing to say. Monshi secretary or clerk we use this word in Persian as a general phrase so either it is a doctor you're talking about as you see in the scene or a company or office you can use this word literally for all cases Do you remember everything we said about the word tomorrow? So you can also add a prefix to this word to mention the day before yesterday. But it replaces the first part of the word. The prefix you should use is pari, which takes the place of d. So the day before yesterday in Persian would be pari ruz. So simple to learn, yeah? فردا این پیرمرد چجوری تنها بیل کنم تو این خونه برم؟ ترمه؟ بله مامانت این چای خوشکار کجا میذاره؟ نمیدونم شما بعد به من میگفتین که من بعد نظافت رو میکردم نظافت از چیش خانه؟ صبح خودشون خراب کردم خودشون رو خراب کردن Literal meaning They made themselves impaired They spoiled themselves First of all, you should know that Persian speakers use plural pronouns when they want to talk about someone politely and respectfully. Here, she's talking about the man's father and uses plural pronouns. But the exact meaning of this word is to wet yourself. The man had peed his pants during the day and his son doesn't know that his father has this problem. And this scene, trust me, is absolutely so sad. علی کیه؟ علی آره علی زنگه ترم بابا بود و یکم سریع تر خانم این شیر و اکسیژنشو نبسته بود این را سفت صبح بستم حتما خودشون با کرد یکم سفت تر ببندین از فردا لطفا که نتونه باز کنم ببخشید من دیگه فردا رو فکر نکنم بتونم بیام گفتین که مگه نگفتین من گفتم عزیز میام ولی درام خیلی دوره نمیتونم خانم من دیروز رو حساب حرف شما یکی دیگر رد کردم رفت من چهار بعد از ظهر من فردا چجوری یکی دیگر خدا سنگینه برام به خدا سنگینه نمیتونم واقعا نمیکشم سنگین کارتون زیاد خیلی آها لطفا تشریف بیارین اینجا شما یه مقنعت کو بیا اینجاست حالا شاید روز اولت خسته شدی نه شما که اینجا بودین دیگه چند دقیقه رو دیدین که شما بیا کیفتو بردار بخشید اگه میشون شما را رم سانوگرافی هم داره امروز خیلی نارومی میکرد همون پسره صبح چه شکمه مامانم انقدر لگت میزد خب میخواد زودتر به دنیا بیاد با هم بازی کنم
بگو اگه میشه اینجا برای من بنویسی باش بگو از طرف قهرایی اومدی منشیش منو میشناسه زن یا مرد چه؟ زن یا مرد خانومه البته قبلش یه زنگی بزن خانومه نمیتونم و شما دیروز به من میگفتین من فردا این پیره مرد چجوری تنها بلکنم تو این خونه برم ترمه؟ بله مامانت این چای خوشکار کجا میذاره؟ نمیدونم شما بعد به من میگفتین که من بعد نظافت رو میکردم نظافت از چیش خانم؟ صبح خودشون خراب کردم درست نیست من تمیزشون کنم Thank you guys so much for devoting your precious time to us. Do not forget if you have any further questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them all. Please write them down in the comments part and we'll be here assisting you. Also, our team would be more than happy to see you guys coming to our website for free educational content. We would like to help people all around the world to learn Farsi and Persian better. And do not forget, click on that subscribe button to be a part of our channel and turn on your notification icon to get informed about future posts.